Welcome to the first tutorial for Wrestle2 for Ontario. Wrestle2 is an acronym for the Revised Universal Soil Loss Equation, version 2. It is a computer software program that allows you to estimate the long-term rate of soil erosion caused by rainfall and snowmelt from hill slopes on your farm. You may be familiar with the original tool for estimating soil erosion, the Universal Soil Loss Equation, simply referred to as the USLE. For more information on how the USLE was adapted for Ontario, download the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture's fact sheet titled Universal Soil Loss Equation. It can be found at www.omafra. .gov.on.ca. Russell 2 is developed cooperatively by soil conservation specialists within the United States Department of Agriculture's Agricultural Research Service, the Natural Resource Conservation Service, and researchers at the University of Tennessee. The Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food, and Rural Affairs staff developed data sets for Russell 2 that include the climate, soils, and management practices common to Ontario. This makes Russell 2 more applicable for use in the province. You can download the Ontario version of the software from the OMAFRA website. In this introductory tutorial, I will review how to properly set up the Russell 2 program on your computer. Please press continue in the bottom right hand corner to advance to the next slide. To begin, you will need to download and save the Russell 2 software from the Ministry of Agriculture, Food, and Rural Affairs website. Please go to OMAFRA's Russell 2 webpage, scroll down, and click here to begin downloading. Save the file to your desktop. Once the zipped software file has been downloaded, you need to extract the files and folders and save them to a new folder on your computer. To make it easier to find, we suggest that you save it on your hard drive and name it Russell2ON. To demonstrate, I saved the downloaded zipped Russell2 folder on my desktop. To extract the files, right click and select Extract All. You will be prompted to select a folder to save the files to. Type Russell2ON as the folder name and then select Extract. Once you have extracted the software, find the folder on your desktop. Open it. Open the subfolder called Binaries. This will most likely be located near the top of the subfolder list. Inside the Binaries folder, you will see an executable file called Russell2. Create a shortcut of this file by right-clicking and selecting Create Shortcut, and then drag this shortcut icon onto your desktop. From now on, you can click on this icon to start the Russell2 program. When you open Russell2, you will see an introductory screen. You will only see this introductory screen the first time you open the program. Because I have already opened the program, I have to go to Help Introduction for it to appear. It allows you to set up the general layout that you would like to see each time you open the Russell2 program. Under the area Where would you like to start? Select Profile. This will open another screen that asks you, which template would you like to use? Select OMAFRA basic screen and click OK. An open screen will appear. Select default, then click open. Before we go on, look down at the lower right hand corner of the screen. You should see three different file names. You will need to review these three files to properly set up the program. The file on the right shows the software version. The middle is the template 
and the one on the left is for the user access level. The version of Russell 2 you downloaded came with the version of the database that was available at that specific time. Upgrades to the Russell 2 software or the Ontario data sets may be released as improvements are made. We suggest that you check the website periodically for software upgrades and to download these new versions as needed. When you download and install a new version, make sure you have made the upgrade properly. As you can see here, the top left-hand corner of the window displays the Russell 2 version I am using. Find the version number and date on your screen. Compare this information with what the OMAFRA website states is the most recent version of Russell 2 and determine if you are using this. As well, the lower right-hand corner of the Russell 2 program shows the information database you are using. As you can see here also, it says I'm using the Ontario database dated March 21st, 2014 or Ontario 03-21-2014. The Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs website may state that there is a more recent version of the Ontario database at the time you are viewing this. For demonstration purposes, I will show you how to make this newer database active. To begin, close all open windows and objects within Russell 2. Right click on the blue database icon that appears as a G between two lines. Select Open Alternate and go to the most recently downloaded Russell 2 folder on your computer. For me, this is the March 21st, 2014 file. If you don't have the most recent version to date, go to the Ministry of Agriculture, Food, and Rural Affairs website to download it. Note, the March 21st, 2014 file may not be the most recent database for you, but at the time this video was filmed, it was. Therefore, for this demonstration, I see the file called Ontario 03-21-2014. I select this and click Open. Once you have opened the file, select Database, Startup Database. On the top menu bar of Russell 2 to set this database as your default on Startup. Next, let's check our User Access Level. In the bottom right hand corner, you should see that you have been granted the R2 underscore OMAFRA underscore field underscore user access level. This is the only access level that is currently provided to new users and is suitable for most field applications of the software. Finally, in the middle of these two file names is the template file name. You should see that you are using the OMAFRA basic screen template. This template was set up to resemble the USLE approach for estimating soil erosion. The template will help new users to familiarize themselves with using Russell 2. As part of the download package, however, we have provided other, more complex user input and output screens. To see other user screen templates available, right click on the screen icon that has a circle triangle, and two arrows on it. Select Load. You will see a list of different templates including Construction Site Basic Complex Slope, OMAFRA Segmented Slope, OMAFRA Simple Fuel and Grazing Planner, ARS Science, and of course, OMAFRA Basic Screen. Ontario users will most commonly use the OMAFRA Basic Screen and the OMAFRA segmented slope templates. Once you feel more comfortable using the program, you can explore the other templates and see if they are appropriate for your soil loss calculations. To keep the OMAFRA basic screen as your template, select Load, OMAFRA basic screen, Open. When you open Russell 2, Thank you for watching Module 1 of the Russell 2 tutorial series. 
We hope you found this tutorial helpful for learning how to set up the Russell 2 program. You are now ready to start calculating soil erosion with Russell 2 as adapted for Ontario. In the next tutorials, you will learn how to use Russell 2 to estimate the long-term average soil erosion rates from your field's hill slopes under current cropping and tillage practices. You will also learn how to compare this information against other field management practices that could potentially reduce soil erosion and improve your soil's health. These tutorials are a great introduction to Russell 2. However, there are many different field practices used on Ontario farms that we will not illustrate in these tutorials. Russell 2 has many different windows and features that can help describe the variety of cropping and management options you may use. Try experimenting with Russell 2 to become familiar with its capabilities. Refer to the Russell 2 program user guide from the United States Department of Agriculture's website for more help and information. You can find this by going to the USDA's website and searching Russell 2 in the search bar. Click on the first link, scroll down, and click on the Russell 2 Program User Guide. We hope that the information in these tutorials will help you compare the different soil health benefits of alternative management practices. If you have any questions as you apply Russell 2 for Ontario, contact the Agricultural Information Contact Centre toll free at 1-877-424-1300. Zero zero, or by email at ag.info.omafra at ontario.ca and they will connect you with a technical specialist.